You think developing color film is hard? Do you hear people say things like, you have to heat up your chemicals, but if you get the temperature wrong, just the slightest, your film will be ruined. And you're basically correct. It's super hard, almost impossible actually. You shouldn't give it a try and give up just now. And of course I'm kidding, because otherwise I wouldn't be making this video. In fact, I think that developing C41 is pretty simple and pretty uncomplicated, but I myself was also scared to try it out for the longest time, because I thought I wouldn't be able to handle the temperatures. All I wanted back then was to have a person that would guide me through the process and hold my hand and tell me that everything is going to be all right. And basically what I would like this video to be is exactly that. I would like to guide you through the process, hold your hand, at least virtually, and tell you that everything is going to be all right. I would like to give you a quick guide that you can simply come back to while you are developing your very first rolls. Step one, what you will need. A developing tank as this Jobo or this Patterson tank that come in various sizes and the ones that I have can hold two 35 mm or one medium format film at once. At least three plastic bottles labeled with what's inside, a funnel, at least one measuring jug, a thermometer, scissors, gloves, and for whatever reason I always wanted to do that on camera, but now I realized how weird it is, so let's skip that one. A bottle opener or a film retriever, a completely dark room, or if you don't have that, a changing bag, distilled water, the chemicals of your choice, and I am using the one liter titanol kit and last but not least, your C41 film that you would like to develop. And one thing that is completely optional, but that surely makes your life a lot easier, is some sort of temperature control system. And there are some dedicated temperature control systems that are meant for film processing, such as the one that Cinestill is producing, but you can also get creative and use something like an aquarium heater, or as I do in this video, a sous vide stick that is usually meant for cooking. Step number two are preparations. And first and foremost, we will have to mix our chemicals. Every C41 kit comes with specific instructions on how to mix up your chemicals and the titanol kit is pretty straightforward. So for mixing our developer, we will have to put all three parts that are labeled with CD into our bigger one liter plastic bottle and fill it up with 400 milliliters of distilled water to make for a whole liter of developer. To mix the Blix, which is a rhyme, we will have to put both parts of the Blix into another 1 liter plastic bottle and fill up the rest with 600 milliliters of distilled water to make for a whole liter. And lastly, to mix our stabilizer, we will have to put the one bottle of stabilizer into our bigger 1 liter bottle and fill it up with 800 milliliters of distilled water. So in the end, we will have three different bottles filled with different chemicals. We will have one liter of developer, one liter of Blix, and one liter of stabilizer. So in case you are wondering, for the whole mixing process of the chemicals, I did not heat them up yet, but I left them at the temperature they are at right now, which is room temperature. But once everything is mixed up, we can start to get them to the right temperature we need for developing. And for that, I will place my chemicals into a bucket that is filled with water and also put my sous vide stick in that is heating the water and ultimately also my chemicals to exactly 38 degrees Celsius. And while my chemicals are heating up, I will prepare my developing tank and put the film into my tank. And I cannot stress this enough, this has to happen in complete darkness. And I repeat, complete darkness. So what you can do is to crack open your film canister in complete darkness and wind it in the dark bag or in the dark room. But what I like to do is to retrieve the tip of the film with the film retriever, cut a round edge and put just a tiny little bit on the spool so I can bring this into the dark bag or into the dark room and simply do the spinning motion to get the whole film on the roll. And now that we have the film in our developing tank and our chemicals are at the right temperature, it's finally time for step number three, developing. I always start with pre-washing my film. For that, I will put 38 degree water into my tank 
agitate for a couple of times until the water is completely clear. Then I will fill it up with more water and let it sit in my water bath with the rest of the chemicals for around 5 minutes so that the film can adjust to the temperature of 38 degrees. After that I will pour the water out and make sure that I have a timer on my hands because it's time to put the developer in that will have to stay in the tank for exactly 3 minutes and 15 seconds. And I will put the chemicals into my tank while the tank is in my water bath just to make sure that the temperature will stay constant at 38 degrees. I will agitate continuously the whole time and if I have around 15 seconds left I will prepare a funnel and everything else so that I can put the developer back into its bottle. Now the picture is technically already developed but the film is still sensitive to light. So next we will put the Blix which is a bleach fix into the tank for exactly 4 minutes. Here I am basically repeating the whole process which means that I am agitating continuously for 4 minutes and I will let my tank rest in the water bath to make sure that the temperature is constant and when there's around 15 seconds left I'll prepare everything so that the Blix can go back into its bottle. And Blix is some nasty stuff that you don't want to have anywhere so this is the stage where we are going to give our film a good wash. And the instructions say that you can simply do so by putting the developing tank under running water for 3 minutes but what I also like to do to save some water is to use the Ilford method which basically means that you will put water into your tank, agitate 5 times, toss it out, refill, agitate 10 times, toss it out, refill and do the same for 15, 20 and 25 agitations until your film is fully washed. Now our film is developed, it is bleached and it is fixed, but the surface of the film is still relatively sensitive. So for that we will put the stabilizer in for exactly one minute because this will help to strengthen the surface of the film. So it will be a bit more resilient towards scratches and towards watermarks. And after the stab was in our tank for one minute, it can go back to its bottle. And now, drum roll, we are finished. The film is done and it can be taken out of the canister and can be hung up to dry. And here I think we should include a little dancing and partying break because you have done it. We have done it, our film is developed. But before I will let you go into the world, I would like to add a couple of notes. The recommended developing temperature is 38 degrees, but all of the different chemicals have a different kind of span or leeway on how accurate or precise you have to be. With washing and with stabilizer, they are pretty forgiving and there are a couple of degrees that you can be off, but especially with the developer and with the Blix you have to be pretty precise. The developer has to be plus minus 0.3 degrees precise and the Blix plus minus 1 degree precise. So just keep that in mind that these are the kind of crucial things that you have to be careful with and with the rest you can be a bit more sloppy. In this video I'm developing my film at 38 degrees but you can also develop your film a bit warmer or a bit colder either in 30 or in 45 degrees temperature but you will have to adjust your developing times if you want to do so. This is also something very important to note because the developing times mentioned in this video are only applicable to a couple of roles and you will have to adjust your developing times so when I talk about the developer being in for 3 minutes and 15 seconds and the Blix being in for 4 minutes. This is only applicable if you have the 1 liter kit for the first 4 rolls that you are going to develop. So if you are going to develop your 5th roll with this kit, you will have to check the instructions and see what the actual developing times are. And for the 5th roll this would for example be developer for 3 minutes and 30 seconds and Blix for 6 minutes while the rest stays the same. Therefore I would advise you to keep track of the amounts of rolls you have already developed with this kit so you will know exactly what times you will have to use. You can develop up to 16 rolls with the 1 liter kit. But in my experience you can even stretch it a tiny bit more and maybe go up to 20 rolls. But I would just be a bit cautious about that because developer 
and uh, blix can get contaminated quite easily so if you feel that there's some exhaustion in the chemicals i would advise you to simply mix up a new batch and don't stick to old chemicals but try to you know use as fresh chemicals as possible and one last very important note when we talk about exhausted chemicals if you want to get rid of your chemicals it is absolutely not okay to put it down the drain because these chemicals can be toxic for the environment so instead of just putting it down the sink it is very advisable to collect them in bigger kind of containers and bring it to a waste collection center so that they can get rid of the waste in an environmental friendly way i think we as film photographers should take this very seriously and be responsible when we use something like chemicals that can be harmful and that is it that was the quick guide to developing c41 film at home I hope that this video helped a bit to kind of shed some light on the prejudice that people might have on developing color film at home because it is not as hard and not as complicated as some people might think. And if I can do it, you are more than capable to also do it. That said, I would say stay environmental friendly, stay colorful and develop your own film at home if you want to. And that said, see you in the next one.